watching. So if you've been following me on my other social media accounts like Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, whatnot, um, I posted a picture of my before and after a couple days ago and I asked you guys to ask me all of your weight loss questions because I am starting a daily Q&A series. So I'm going to be answering all of your weight loss questions on a daily basis from Monday through Friday because the amount of weight loss questions that I get is astronomical. Like it's just insane. And I know that like everyone asks the same questions because you haven't seen what other people posted or me answering the other questions. And it's just like, I keep repeating myself on a daily basis. So I thought it'd be a great idea to start, you know, a Q&A series where I answer all of the questions that you guys have about weight loss and answer them in like a Q&A format where you have a video that I can send you to when you ask me, you know, is it okay to eat salt? How much should I be exercising? Things like that. So that you have, you know, a video to refer to and like a thought out explanation of an answer and what you guys should be doing. So that is what I'm going to be doing for probably the next couple months because I have over 300 questions to answer and they just keep coming in. So bear with me. These videos are going to be pretty short. I'm going to try and keep them to like three and five minutes. Um, but I really want to, you know, make this informative, helpful. I want you guys to give me your thoughts down below, ask any other questions and make it like an open discussion so that we can all help each other on our weight loss journeys. So, all right. So today's question isn't really a question. It's just, um, someone asked me if I could go over my top three tips for a beginner on this lifestyle. So my top three tips that I would give someone that I wish that I knew when I started my weight loss journey with high carb, low fat veganism is number one, you want to focus on eating whole foods. So whole plant foods are going to help you the most out of any other thing that you could possibly probably do on your journey because they're so calorically dilute. It's going to help you so much more in the long run because you're going to be filling your body with what nature has intended you to eat. So that means no processed foods in reality, which there are, you know, lines that you can cross. You don't have to follow this 100% all the time, um, which I talk about a lot in my books. Like you don't want to deny yourself 100% of the time like foods like pizza and things like that because it can lead to binging but I'd say 98% of the time focus your diet on whole foods so don't be adding sugar to your smoothies <laughs> don't be adding you know stay away from like flours and refined grains and things like that white rice um, just because they're more calorically dense they don't have as much minerals and vitamins in them Sure, if you're like exercising a ton or your goal, you know, your aim isn't to lose weight, you can totally be eating white rice, flours, dumping sugar into your smoothies, that's fine. But if your focus is to lose a lot of weight or you want to really tone and define your body quickly and get to the point where, you know, it's easier to maintain, um, stay away from the refined foods. So, um, Derek and I have talked a lot about smoothies, so we're not against smoothies. The only thing that we promote with, you know, smoothies and drinking smoothies and things like that is that you want to not be eating an amount of bananas. Usually it's just bananas. So say like you have a smoothie and you put 10 bananas in it, but technically like if you were sitting down eating bananas, you could only eat like five, right? Because the blending process really processes the food, chewing, you know, peeling and swallowing foods is a lot different than just drinking them. So in a smoothie form, you can consume a lot more calories in a very short period of time. And it doesn't hit your body the same way that like eating bananas would. My advice on smoothies is it's totally fine to have smoothies, even if you have them every single day. The thing that people go wrong with is they'll put 10 bananas in a smoothie when if they sat down and ate 10 bananas, it would be physically impossible for them to do it. Like most people cannot physically do that because it's just so much food. It's just a lot of volume. So if you can only sit down and eat five bananas in one sitting, then you should only be putting five bananas in your smoothies. So that's really my only, you know, advice when it comes to smoothies. Smoothies are totally fine to have every day. It's fine to have banana ice cream. Just don't be eating massive amounts of fruit in a smoothie because it's so much easier to consume a ton of calories when you do it that way. So my second tip for any beginner is to focus on your fitness. This is something that I wish that I would have done when I'd begun. I was always focused on, you know, doing as much exercise as I could, getting the furthest distances on my bike, 
and really just burning on my body because I didn't know what I was doing. So Derek and I have a video on this. Actually, I'll post the link below. But what you want to focus on is start where you are. So where you feel comfortable. If you've never cycled, if you don't have money to buy a bike right now, if you're 300 pounds and you've smoked your entire life and now you finally quit smoking, like start where you feel comfortable. So maybe you start and you just start walking, right? So you just start walking three times a week for 30 minutes. What you want to do in those 30 minutes is you want to pick like a three to five interval in the middle of it. So around like 15 minutes and push yourself really hard for just those three to five minutes. This is going to increase your level of fitness. So if you're just walking, a really good thing to do is find a hill and just walk up that hill, you know, three to five times for your, or for three to five minutes and just really like push yourself to the max so you can't really you know, carry on a conversation, you're breathing heavily, your body is at really its max effort, which I think is 170 to 180 beats per minute of your max heart rate, or of your heart rate. So that is what you wanna do, which is something that I did not do, and a lot of people are just like, well, the more exercise I can do, the better. And you really burn yourself out that way because then exercise just seems like it's this big thing and you're pushing yourself so hard, and like, especially if you're coming from like how I did, which is basically no exercise your entire life, and you try and do all this stuff, it just seems like a huge change. So start slow. Um, I would suggest th at least, you know, as a minimum, three workouts a week, whether that's cycling, running, biking, walking, cycling, biking, walking. <laughs> um, so do three workouts a week, push yourself for three to five minutes within that workout, and what you're gonna see is your fitness level is gonna increase. So your muscle mass is going to increase, your body is going to be more efficient, you're gonna become fitter, and what happens then is throughout your entire weight loss journey as you're building this level of fitness, you your resting metabolic rate is going to go up, which is gonna help you tremendously. So since I've started doing this like two months ago, I've seen dramatic changes in my body, like for my cellulite going down, just my overall energy level going up, um, I feel better, I can smash it on the bike, you know, I might not be like a professional cyclist or anything like that, but I can really, you know, push myself harder every time that I get out there because I'm focusing on increasing my level of fitness. So my third tip that I would give any beginner is to be patient. So you need to focus on patience and being kind to yourself and realizing that this is a big life change. This is going to take a while. You know, set a realistic goal. Like people will always say, I could lose, uh, uh, Hannah, like, if I go in the search solution, I eat potatoes all day and I exercise like this, do you think I could lose 20 pounds in a month? And I'm like, no, like maybe you could if you were eating, you know, a very low amount of calories or something like that or exercising like a madman, but you don't want to do that. So we're focusing on a lifestyle change. This is going to take a while. You should be, you know, thinking about weight loss is about a pound a week. So think about in a year from now, if you could weigh 52 pounds less, like how would you feel? A year goes by like that. Like, I, can't, I feel like I just started this whole thing and like I look back and I just, I'm amazed at how much weight I lost because when I was doing it, it just, you don't really notice the changes as much because you are, you know, you're not, you see yourself every day. So it's hard to realize like how much your body is actually changing. So just realize that this is gonna take some time. It's gonna be sustainable though for the long term. So you're gonna be able to sustain this for the rest of your life. So. My biggest tip is like, do not weigh yourself. Weigh yourself in the beginning, maybe in three months, weigh yourself again. Um, you could also take measurements. So measurements are way better than weighing yourself in my opinion. I lost like seven inches on my arm since I started doing this, like seven inches, right? But if you're weighing yourself day to day, your weight can go up and down, especially if you are building muscle and increasing your level of fitness, your body could be changing dramatically. Like you could be losing tons of inches around your waist, your you know, hips, your thighs, things like that. But the, the weight on the scale could actually not move. So I highly, highly recommend going by how you feel, your measurements, how your clothes fit, and just focus on you know, feeling good every single day, day to day, and being patient with yourself and setting a realistic goal. So those are my tips for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will enjoy the series and I hope that it's gonna be helpful for you guys. Um, leave any comments or questions below and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more weight loss Q&A. Thank you, I will see you guys.